Greetings everyone, my name is Dr. Sunshine, and we're back with a game called Fallback. I enjoyed it so much last time, I figured we'd come back and try and take this out. It doesn't seem like it's going to be that long of a game. I jumped in just a little bit to practice. Uh, I went back to the old control scheme, the one that's mostly default, I believe. And then I just got to the point where we can choose a character. I think what I'm going to do is go with the geometer, geometer, I think it's geometer, uh, because the shield uh, recharging and then getting a, a quicker attack when it's fully charged is actually really nice when paired with like uh, the stun mods. So we're going to we're going to pick this one and see what layout we get. I also got a prisoner, so we should be able to I don't know, actually, we might be able to get something here. Because right now, uh, we've got Rebellion Jackpot, so we start off with 60 Vesta Energy, which is really nice. And now there's another option. When double jumping, your rocket fire burns enemies below, dealing 50% of your basic damage. That's pretty neat. But I think might go with Coward's Gift. I'm not a coward. That's just what it's called. Right. A successful dodge roll will leave a small bomb behind, dealing 150% of your basic damage. There's a lot of dodging involved. So let's grab that. It'll lock us out of the other, but that's fine. And we need to save four more people to get two epic modules. And that'll be nice once we get to that, but for now, we're all upgraded. We're going to go right back into the Eden District 1. Try and get back to the Guardian. Oh my god. I, we're so close. We beat the Guardian. We just died right after. So. Yeah, it's doable. I think we can manage. Let's see what's over to the left here. Ooh. Media drop. I hear somebody. Hello. Double spinny boys. Just gonna roll out. See what I did there? Yeah. Wheels. Roll out. Ah, uh, I am great with the jokes. Uh-oh, what did I... Oh, okay. Dodge it, dodge it good, and we got it. See, you start hitting those quick, you get that shield, and you can just take out most targets. So I, I feel like if we pair that with maybe like a stun mod, that'd be really nice. Whoop. Oh, come on now. Get the flying out of here. We got him. We got him. Yeah, you're done. What do we got here? Ooh. Saving a prisoner heals you by 30%. That could be nice. Numbing backstab. Striking the enemy from behind will stun them for two seconds. Stunned enemies take 20% more damage. We had that one before. When targeted by a deadly strike, your passive dodge rate is 30% higher. Your total health points are reduced by 30%. Not a huge fan of that. That doesn't sound very good. I think we'll go with the numbing backstab. Uh, and heck, let's get the bandages as well. Or can we? Can we? Oh, maybe. Oh, I think that was, it was probably 80, not 50. Okay. And parkour. Parkour! A lot of parkour. Hello, Mr. Robot. Whoop. I don't know how we dodged that. Look at that. Look at that. Easy. It's easy. We got a prisoner here we can save. Boom. Three point. And what do we got here? Whoop. Ooh. Uh, your shield no longer recharges, but 50% of the charge is used to heal you instead. I think that would conflict with what we have with what our build is, because if we can't get a full shield, then we can't do the quicker attack. At least, unless it's it operates a different way, I don't know. Uh, when killing an enemy, your Vesta gain rate depends on your health loss. The maximum of plus 20 Vesta per enemy. Eh, I don't really want any of these. Well, we could only get this anyways, but I, I don't like those. Yellow, look for the yellow. Oh boy! Oh, 
geez, we are already weak. Hmm, we're not doing so hot. We, whoa, what's going on here? Uh, auto cannon? Oh boy, well those are new. Don't like, and that's new. Didn't realize we'd have to deal with a lot of fire on the ground. Oh boy. Okay, we got that. If we can just get to, ooh, there's a module. Cool. Okay, we got it, we got it. Please tell me there's something to heal us in here. Ooh, uh, the Punisher. Your critical rate increases by 50% when the enemy's health points are below 50%. Hmm. Stunny Punch. That could be good. Oh, your maximum life increases by 10%. Well, it's not refilling my life, so... I'm thinking we go that. And then the Punisher. Because every third hit stuns, right? Stunny Punch? Let me reread that. Every third strike will stun the target for two seconds. Stunned enemies take 10% more damage. And then our critical hit goes up uh, by 50% when they're weaker than 50%. I like that. Sounds pretty good. Let's go back up. Oh! Dodge! Yeah, okay, the bomb came in, came into play there. save someone else if anything it's nice saving the prisoners will count towards other run-throughs of this same game it's different than a lot of roguelites where your run is your run whereas this feels like it's all tied together but there may be multiple runs involved you could maybe do it in one one volunteer but you may need 20 volunteers but they all contribute to this one playthrough which is it's interesting now, how do we... Oh, button. Oh, we gotta have that robot come down here, don't we? Oh, he's not. He's not gonna come down here? Okay, we got him. Easy. Easy as can be. I want to get that one that, uh... We had last time, that heals us on critical hits or it replaces our critical hits or the damage that we would do with instead healing us I really would want that especially in this situation every five strikes will tr trigger a lifesteal you dodge every attack for three seconds after killing an enemy that's pretty cool we only have 60 oh we need this one crud well um yeah let's hold off and save up some more if we can we may die in the process, but I just want to get a, ooh, a little more. Come here, robot. Got him. We need a little more still. Alright. That should be enough that we can heal up on five hits. You are mine! Now let's go back over here. I don't want to deal with those spinny boys, but I do see... Hmm. The spinny boys are kind of tough. Uh, well, not super tough, it's just they're quick. Oh, well, there's a boss fight. We're not ready for that in our current state. Okay, we got that. Let's get this one. We got him, we got him. Yeah. What do we got here? Acid. Oh. That's really good. That's really good, too. Both of these would be nice. But we need more Vesta. We need more of that good, sweet money. That was the start back over there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. It happened so quickly. <laughs> We're gonna stick with the geometer. It was working good for us, we just need to get the right arrangement. Oh, look at that face. That sweet smiling face of death. Uh, left. Left again. 
Oh, well, look at that. Boss fight right away. No, thank you. Quick combat. Yeah. And we could get something right away. Hold on. When losing health points, your shield's maximum charging increases by 50% of the health loss. Critical hit stun the enemy. Ooh. For two seconds. Well, the only problem is, I wonder if that pairs with the one that replaces our damage from critical hits. That'd be nice. Maybe we'll, we'll go with it and try it. Because, if anything, stunned enemies will take 20% more damage, and we like to stun our enemies. It's kind of our, our thing right now. Up, up, and away! Oh, I see you, turret. Got him. What a chump. Oh, we can't pick anything up. No point in looking. Oh, lasers on the ground. What is this? How do we get up? Oh, we gotta hit this. Come here, robot. Have that bomb there. Sweet. We got a prisoner to save. One more, we can get those epic modules. Whoa! Come here, spinny boy. Didn't realize there was two. That's fine. Cool. What I really like about this is the shield recharges just by attacking, so you can take a hit on the shields and not have to worry about um, taking that hit. He'll come to me. We will fight him on this bridge. Hook. Oh, okay, got a little bit on. A little bit of a hit. What's over here? Ooh, a lot of robots. Okay, we got him. Building up a lot of uh, energy, so we just have to get to a module station and hopefully get some healing. I like fighting these guys, they're not too bad. Ooh, please, goodies. Every third strike, your critical rate increases by 50. Uh, critical damage increased by 100% of your critical rate. Uh. I like this one in case we get the healing. We'll hold off on that because the damages, I don't know if that contributes to more healing. Like when we, if we can get that healing mod, maybe we won't even get that mod. Ooh, we can get epic mods. Sweet. Well, regardless of how we do here, we can get an improvement back at the the home base. Future volunteers will be thankful for it. Oh, spinny boys! We got him. We got him. Yeah. I really like the geometer. The increased attack rate is very, very nice. Have we been here? I don't think we have. Oh, that's the one. That's the one we want. Five strikes for healing. And we could get something else. Hmm. I think every third strike stunned. Because we're already stunning a lot. And I mean, if we can get this, we will. But... I already like the combinations that we're getting. Ooh. 100% lifesteal when dealing a fatal strike. And there's a numbing backstab, so maybe we can get that if we kill some of these guys. Ooh, look at that! No, that's a lot of damage! That's just a berserker rage, basically. Uh, 
was great. Now we can get that other mod. We'll get the numbing backstab. Okay, we need to heal up a bit more. Whoa! Woo! How do we manage? I see some more over there. Hello! Oh, we got too ambitious! No! Let's try it again. Look at that, though. We can upgrade. So we're gonna get these epic modules. Maybe we'll get something better for our journey. We're not even gonna look at the other ones right now. We can't afford them. No point in looking. We go left, as we have been. Come on. Okay. That laser did a number on me. Not very happy about that. Whoa! Guys, come on, share the ladder. What the fuck? They're all down there now. I don't want to get them. Ooh, they died to the lasers. Yeah, free money. That's straight up convenience. I'm glad the environment does damage to them. Cool. When are we going to see that healing? Hmm. Dodge every attack for three seconds after killing a. That could be pretty good for multiple enemies. Up. Oh. Up we go. Slice! Oh, we, we cut so fast. Motivational speech? That's a new one. Oh, that's the epic. Your attack inflicts 30% more damage as long as you've set an even number of prisoners free. Otherwise, your critical chance increases by 10%. Wow, okay. So it's just all good. I mean, we can't afford it right now. That, that's really cool. Free this guy. You're welcome. Whoop. Spinny boy. Got him. Slice. Oh, those moves just can't compete. First, let's go up. Hmm. Slice. Whoa, jeez, come on. Get him. We're just... Oh, there's the one. That's what we need. Oh, but there's a new epic. Your damage is increased by 10% for every 50 Vesta you carry. Maximum 150, so bonus 30% damage if we just hold on to Vesta. That's pretty cool. That's not bad, but for now, let's just get the Might of the Medic, because that's going to be really nice. Oh, I suppose we could get this, but we'll get that. We'll get that instead. So we're stunning, we're healing, that's all good. Look at the damage. Oh, we didn't kill him? There we go. I think we're almost ready for the boss. Unless we get taken out by some fly boys. We got him. Whoa! Auto cannons. I don't like. Ooh. Okay. Come here. Save this guy. We're on a roll right now for saving and taking out robots. Just 
Sweet. Yeah, the... I think the healing on critical hits... It's a real life send. Yeah. I've said that before. It's a... It's a lifesaver. I don't know why I say life send. I'm just getting words mixed up. Minor Symbios. Your maximum health increases by... Increases of 5% when opening a module station. That's pretty neat. Critical hits will stun the enemy for 2 seconds. Stunned enemies take 20% more damage. Now, that's one I'm not sure if it pairs with our healing trick that we got. But the 20% more damage on stunned enemies is really nice. So we're taking it. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that. We're getting this. Your attack recharges your shield by 20% every five attacks. So on top of what we already do. Oh boy. We can't pick up anything here, but I guess we'll just look. Parry, motivational speech, death from above. Nothing too exciting. Uh-oh. We got some crushers here. Dodge. Now it seems like we got to find our way to the boss. Yay! Ooh, that was a close one. Oh, it's the boss, isn't it? Uh, kind of want to heal a little bit, but we might just go for it. Ooh, we're, we're healing off of this guy, so let's try and get some more. I just want to get a little bit more. Well, saying that, I'm already losing. Oh, come on! Give me health back. I'm stuck at three right now. That's not good. Ooh. There's so many things. I don't... Eh. Uh, no. You can't afford the middle one, the epic, so no point. Jeez, we're at one health. We are not, we're not doing good at all. How are we gonna manage? I screwed up. No! Yep, I was hoping to make it to the Guardian, but we'll come back to this again. I think I'm just gonna stick with the Geometer because I'd rather get used to one and get really proficient with it, but I think that kind of build, where you get the stuns going, you get healing off of critical hits, you can really just keep um, keep yourself up because you're already generating a shield when you attack. So if we can just keep going with that, that would be really good. But we got epic modules now. There's probably some other ones we haven't seen. And we'll continue this in the next episode and hopefully get to the Guardian. I want to thank you all for stopping by, checking out the video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to hit the like button down below comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next episode bye now